going on? My name is Omar. Um, born and raised in Boston, Massachusetts. I live here in Everett. Uh, Moroccan Egyptian, first generation Arab American. Uh, I'm a Taurus, and I'm 25 years old. All right, all right. And Omar, what do you usually look for in a woman? Well, I'm not going to lie to you. The first thing, you know, optics is everything. Optics is the first initial interaction. You know, she got to look good. I'm sorry. I know that sounds very shallow, but if you can't look good, I'm not going to look past that unless somehow you could just wow me with everything else. But, you know, if you just look decent, as, as long as you're not ugly, you look decent, we can get past the first stage. You know, as long as you, you a humble woman, not too full of yourself. I like a little confidence in a woman. Um, just not too full of yourself. I don't need no bitchy vibes. I could take it when you're a little angry. I like that toxic shit just a little bit. You know, everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything with, you know what I mean? But um, other than that, just just be real with me. Be honest. Loyalty is everything. Um, other than that, be fun. I like fun. I'm a fun guy. I'm a fun guy. I want you to be fun. Just, you know, we click, we vibe, intelligence, stuff like that, you know? Nothing too crazy. Yeah, nothing over the top. Uh, and what's, so what's a red flag? What, what turns you off with a woman? Um, a woman who is clearly looking for the validation of others, whether it's other men, whether it's other women, it's just you need validation from others. Um, why I, I say others, not just other men, because I've noticed that uh, these days, women are looking for validation from not just men, but other women. They're doing things online for other girls to respect them and things like that. Like, respect yourself. You know, have you, just be confident in who you are and be be a good person all in all just don't worry about what the others think and stuff like that you know okay, yeah all right so Omar, how are you feeling right now are you feeling excited i right? feel I, honestly i feel good i'm not nervous at all this is cool like i said i wasn't even supposed to be here so this, yeah, it's yeah, one of those yeah, exciting yeah, things you know what i mean so it's cool thing, yeah, yeah it's spontaneous right yeah you feel me okay all right so omar i want you to give a rating on how this day's gonna be like all right so what, out of 10 what you think um, realistically, I don't expect it to go anything less than like a 7, 7.5 out of 10 just because I'm part of it. Uh, okay. Not to be, you know, I know okay. I know what I bring to the table. I know okay. I'm going to make it excited no matter who's across the table. Even if she doesn't look, you know, up to par, even if her actions or personality ain't up to par, I know that I'm going to keep that thing moving, you know. Yeah. You can't stop what's already in motion, okay. you feel me? Okay. So. All right. All right, Omar, let's go see your date. Then. Let's make shit happen. Let's do this, baby. Hey, guys. So I'm St Stephanie. Um, my zodiac sign is a Capricorn. Um, I'm 28 years old. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. And yeah. All right, and Steph, what do you look for in a man? Like, what's a green flag? A green flag, a family man. I do have two little ones, so a family man. Um, someone that's hardworking um, and just passionate about what they're doing. Okay. And what, what's a red flag? Like, what, what mm. <laughs> a red flag is a narcissist, um, a liar, okay. and someone that is a leech on women. Okay, okay, okay. All uh, right, and Steph, how are you feeling right now? Are you excited, nervous? I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? I think y'all did me dirty. Uh, uh, no, we fuck with you, Stephanie. Come on. No, I don't think y'all fuck with me the hard way. <laughs> I don't think y'all fuck with me the hard way. All right, all right, all right, so, all right, so give, give, her, give her a rating real quick out of 10. What do you, you think this day's going to be like out of 10? I think I'm going home single. Really? <laughs> yeah, so very much so. What do you think out of 10? Like, what do you think? 10 meaning we're compatible. Yeah, like y'all, yeah, it's the best day ever. A one. A one? Yeah. No, come on, for real? What? Yeah. Y'all think, ah. Oh. A okay. one. So I guess it's only up from here then, hopefully. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All right, so we're going to see you today. Welcome. This is Split the Lotus Triple Split. Thank y'all for joining us. We're over here, we have Omar. Omar, say what's up. What's going on, guys? And over there, we have Stephanie. Stephanie, say hi. You can say hi, Stephanie. You can actually speak. Hi. OK, OK. Now, Stephanie, I want you to rate Omar's voice out of 10 using your fingers, OK? OK. You can speak again, or? Yeah, say something. Whatever you want me to say, I can say it. Shit. Mm. What are you thinking? What are you th okay, okay, okay. Well, can you can raise it up a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Omar, I want you to raise Stephanie's voice out of 10. All right, with your fingers. If you don't mind speaking again for me, please. Hey, it's stunning Steph. Oh, there we go. She's stunning. Let's go. Beauty in the eye of the beholder. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, I can take out blindfolds off. Okay. <laughs> I took out my off. Hey, hey, what's going on? Oh, my, 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 o
Yeah. The lights are so bright in here. Let's go. Thank you for joining us. Um, Thank you for having us, brother. Yeah, I mean, I'll just top it all off a little bit. Rules are simple. Pick up fully loaded card. Ask your date the question on the card. For every question skip, the person answering must take a shot. For every additional question missed, the person answering must take consecutive shots. If someone hesitates to answer or get into detail, they must take a shot. Do you believe in the saying, a tiger never chases, change its stripes? Example, once a cheater, always a cheater. A tiger never changes its stripes. Well, from a realistic perspective, I guess a, a tiger never does change its stripes, I guess. If we're talking literally, right? A tiger is born with the stripes it has forever, I think. I'm not sure how tigers work, but I'm pretty sure if you're born with that skin, I'm, I'm sure you're gonna die with that skin, so. Why'd you take it so literal about tigers not changing stripes? You said tigers literally don't change stripes. What was that about? The only way I could really think about it, I'm like thinking, like, does a tiger change stripes? I'm thinking like chameleons and snakes, they like shed and shit, like, but I don't think tigers shed. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Yes, because yeah. if you have the ability to cheat, you're gonna do it again. You cheated for a reason. What's gonna stop you? Certain things in life I feel like we could change. You could adapt and stuff, but stuff like that, that's, that's deep in the core, you know? I agree. Okay, okay. Cheers, cheers to never changing stripes. Cheers. Never changing stripes. Yes, ma'am. Even if you're For a cheater. Sure. <laughs> as much as you desire honesty, can you actually handle it? I generally think that if you are straightforward with that, then it's just, it is what it is. You know, like if you come out the gate and you're just like, you know, I'm attracted to you, sex appeal, I'm attracted to your looks, then that's just what you're gonna get from it. Mm. Um, but if you, you know, you're trying to feel me out, you're trying to be, you know, in the mix, you're trying to be lovey-dovey, then no. Fair what enough. about you? Um, yeah, I mean, personally, I, I would, honesty is everything, honesty is key. I mean, there've been situations in my life, like I've always been the type of guy, like I never necessarily, you know, in my younger days been the type of guy to like wanna be tied down and stuff. So I'd always tell women off rip, like, hey, this is just what it is. And a lot of women respect the honesty. So yeah, I think I think I'd rather the honesty. I'd rather a girl tell me, hey, I have a, I've had girls tell me, hey, I have a boyfriend, <laughs> and they still want to follow you. Feel me? At least you're keeping it real with me. Now, you think girls can handle honesty? I do not think girls can handle honesty. That's oh. why people lie to their girlfriends. Well, unfortunately. Does mom sit in the passenger seat or the wife? Let me hear that. Mm. 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 I'm gonna be real with you. I'm her. I'm a Habibi, you know? I'm from a third world country. My mom is everything. I'm a mama's boy at the end of the day. Like, my mom probably got less time on this earth than you do. So, I'm gonna keep it real with you, man. My mom, my mom is old. My mom is like, very much so, I'm a passenger princess. So if I'm not in the passenger side, I wouldn't be in the car. So I don't know if you're like spiritual, but like in the Bible, like when you're married to somebody, your wife comes before anybody. So if I'm your girlfriend, yeah, I'm gonna take that back seat. Correct. But if I'm your wife, nah, I'm not playing that. Did the question say wife? Yes. Did, did it? Okay, okay. It says, does the mom sit in the passenger seat or the wife? Okay. A girlfriend is gonna sit in the back seat. Mm -hmm. Girlfriend's gonna sit in the back seat. But a wife? The wife won't sit passenger. Wife is different. Yeah, I'm sure my mom wouldn't mind. I'm sure my mom would be happy to sit in the back and like watch me and my wife talking about things. Yeah, you know what? That's kind of cute now that I think about it. Why? Emphasis on the wife. Yes. Girlfriend gonna sit in the goddamn trunk if she need to. I don't give a fuck. Straight up. She don't want you. Well, I'm you just not said wife. She to the girlfriend in the trunk. But you just said wife, wife, front seat, girlfriend I, I in the said, trunk. I said, <laughs> I, I, I said in the back seat, not the trunk. So y'all can take it. Y'all can take y'all little, little cheers to yourself. I'm not in the passenger side. I wouldn't be in the car. Would you attend a sex party with your partner, or would you have a threesome with your partner? Uh, no and no. Take a shot. Why and why? I, damn, I'm taking a shot. What? Fuck it. You don't want to answer? Okay. I, I, th I thought shot I'm going to answer. Okay. So I'm not having a threesome because if I'm not enough for you, mm. then you can go find somebody else. Respect. I'm three and one. Okay. I change my hair every week. So you got a new bitch every week. A sex party. Um, I'm very private when it comes to being intimate. So I'm not, you know, loosey goosey where I'm just like, oh, let's have sex outside in the park. Mm. Or let's have sex, you know, uh, in the hallway, mm. like I'm mm. very intimate, mm. you know, let's just keep it between me and you. I, I, what about you? 
I feel like, um, yeah, that, like all the examples you brought up, that's, it reminds me of like, all I could think of when you were saying that was like little kid shit, like that whole hallway in a park. Like that's, mm -hmm. if that excites you, that's cause you're like still a child looking for like this like troublesome little, you know, devious act. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to do something with your girl? You fucking kidding me? Are you fu of course? Yeah, like, if it's me and you, it's supposed to be in the bedroom, closed doors. Nobody should be paying attention to what the fuck we doing. Right. In a marriage and all that good stuff, I don't think there's any room for a third person. Y'all supposed to be locked in for a reason. Yeah, cheers yeah. to that. Cheers to that, for sure. If you're my wife, that boundary becomes a lot smaller. I don't, because I would hate for her to be like, okay, now we did it with the girl. Now we have to do it with a guy. Aww. Have you ever cheated on someone? I'd be lying if I said no. Yes, I have. He's light skin, so it gives that light skin vibe. I can't say never say never, cause God forbid, you never know what this life entails. But I, I would like to say that I would never do it again. The first few times, I didn't learn. But that was my early days, and then after a while, you know, it adds up, and you do learn. It becomes detrimental to the relationship in general, because then, like, they find out, they forgive you, now they don't trust you, even though they forgive you. It's just too much. I have cheated, and I don't regret it. You don't regret it. Nope. I don't regret anything. So cheers to that. Yeah. Cheers to not regretting shit in this yeah. life. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Bad head. Are you coaching them through it or nah? It's a good one. I like that one. Wow. Bad head. I'm definitely not doubling that. Are you coaching them through it? Like in the midst of the action itself, are you are no. you telling them Move. what to do? Move. Absolutely not. Okay. Get out of here. <laughs> hey. Don't waste time. I was just talking about don't waste You're time. You're wasting my time. Shake the fuck up. I am not your teacher. As a man, though, I have, you know, like, you know, in the middle of head, I feel like I have, speaking of nibbling, kosher woman, I'm like, yo, let's teeth. I feel yeah. like we all did that as men. Yo, let's teeth, yes. let's teeth. Why are you using them things? Like, I feel like you got braces on, goddamn. Like, this ain't right. Do you have trouble with giving head? Do I have trouble with giving head? Yeah. Oh, hell no. If all your exes were in a room together, what would they all agree about you? I think they would all agree that I'm a genuine, funny, true to myself guy. They would say that um, I may not be the... Multiple of my exes have said I'm not the best boyfriend, but I'm a great person. So I feel like they can all agree that I'm a great person. Sometimes I fall off track when it comes to being a lover. Um, you know, just being like the boyfriend, I guess, or whatever it is. But like, they can all agree that I'm, I'm a good guy. I keep it real. I'm funny. I make you laugh. I'm, you're gonna have a good time regardless. Just sometimes you're not going. Yeah, you know I mean, but not anymore. You know, the past is the past, and the future is the future. You know what I'm saying? So, here we go. Uh, are you still cool with any of your exes? For a while, I was not. Just recently, I became cool with my very first ex because it was so long ago and there's been so much time. That one ex, other than that, like my most recent ex, fuck no. And I don't ever plan on being cool with that bitch. How about you? Uh, first, they would say that I'm a great mom. I put my kids first. You love that. That's, that's more important than anything. There you go. As you should. As you should. As you should. Um, and I'm very passionate about mm. anything that I do. Mm. So I'm a content creator, mm. you know, I'm a brand ambassador for a few different clothing lines. Oh, wow. Um, so whatever I put my mind to, I'm passionate about. As all my exes love me. Would you rather a partner who spends the time or the money? That's a great question. Wow. I would love to know the answer to that. The time <laughs> or the money? Mm. I'm gonna be so truthful with you. Keep it a thousand. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with the money. Mm -hmm. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because I've wasted a lot of time mm. on niggas. Straight up. Who don't have anything going for themselves. Yeah. I respect that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, in the era that I'm in right now, mm. if you can't meet me where I'm at or higher, mm -hmm. you're a dub. Okay. Respect. In which era are you in? So like I can do for myself, mm. you know, so I bring the table to the table. Mm. I bring all four chairs to mm. the table as oh, well. Oh, the chairs? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I like that. You bring you the know? chairs, you bring the table, I bring the food. Fuck it. Oh, it makes sense. A girl wants, you know, the girls like the flashy things. They always say girls like diamonds, girls like shiny things. So it makes sense. Let's, that's it. <laughs> Let's go. So like if you can't meet me there, then I don't know what to tell you. I respect that. As a woman, yeah. as a woman, I expect that answer and I respect that answer because as a man, as a man, since I'm a man, I would rather the woman spend her time 
uh, because I don't expect or want a woman to spend her money on me because I feel like once even like there have been times when women's like, oh, I pay for this. And I'm, I'm, all, I'm like, you know, like I said, I'm Arab. You feel me? We Habibis. We don't like that. You feel me? You're supposed to provide. As a man in general, fuck being Habibi. As a man, you're supposed to provide. As a man, you're supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, she bring all this. Now I'm bringing the food straight up. So I'd rather the woman, you know, like I said, I respect her answer and that's what her answer should be. But I'd rather the woman spend the time. I don't need a woman to spend money on me. It would be nice. Once in a blue moon, oh, I'll pay for this dinner, baby. And even then, I'll be like, nah, nah, my card's going on top. I don't need money spent on me. I'm the man. I'm the provider. That's how it go. But the time is important. I need her to say, I want to be with you. Even if I'm busy, even if I can't be with you, I want uh, to know that she wants to be with me because that makes me as a man feel wanted and feel valued and feel important because I'm spending the money. So if I'm spending the money, all that's left is for you to spend your time and your energy. Found so, it. Hell yeah. No, cheers well, it. Man. Cheers it. Let's go. <laughs> I'm a fake ass nigga because I love a bitch. I was telling my mama, she told me 50-50. Could you be comfortable dating a woman who's a stripper or has an OnlyFans? Uh, this is easy for me to answer just because I've done it before. Um, I have dated a woman who was a stripper slash has an OnlyFans. And that's just because um, I feel like I've always told myself since I was a young like a young kid that I'm very, I'm very confident in myself. He doesn't look like the type to date somebody with OnlyFans. These light skinned niggas be kinky. If I feel like a bitch is like doing all this and still doing her thing on the side, like I'm, I'm gonna see that. Like energy don't lie, like you could tell. But um, back, reverse back, like you feel me? If she's doing her thing, but she's giving you all her energy and her time, and you could tell, like of course you, you gotta play everything by ear. It's smooth, like it's smooth, it's just, Everything, everything in moderation. And just date. I would not wife. I would not take serious. It's a strict fucking go home situation. Maybe spend some time, maybe get some drinks. And you know, I'll pay for them or whatever. But bitch, you a stripper, you should pay some too. <laughs> I, I'm not, I don't even feel like spending that because I feel like men shouldn't be strippers or have OnlyFans. So that's some gay shit. Oh, but can I tell you something? Like that. I've talked to somebody who has an OnlyFans. Okay. And he's a male. Oh, wow. And... Is he a straight male? Yeah, he's straight. Oh, wow. What does he do? I'm so curious. So, like, <laughs> it's a no for me, you know, because... Respect. It should be a no. When he's on Instagram or if he's, you know, doing these shows and he's in tidy whities <laughs> Tidy whities is crazy. You feel me? I think it's part of the sassy man apocalypse. I think it started in, like, 2020. Can you thug it out with a man or woman during his or her come up? So I'm 28 years old. Mm. I've been there, I've done that. For sure. I'm not doing it. 100%, we respect you that. You need to come to the table. With the food. With the food, Straight. you hear me? Yeah. yeah. You know, I've, I've waited for someone to build their empire. I've been there to see somebody, you know, just wait for me, I'm gonna make it to the top. And it's three years later and we ain't make it to the top yet. You know, I'm a man and I look at things like, I, I, I'm looking at this from like, kind of like an outside perspective, not just kind of reverse, but like from just from the top, like a bird's eye view. And um, you know, I wouldn't expect the woman that's trying to fuck with me to like wait for me to, to establish myself. Cause what the fuck I look like making you put your life on halt. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like but there's the, niggas out there that's like no, that. No, no, and, and there is, and, and, and that's whack. Yeah. That's corny and that's not right. That's not, you're not a man. Like you said, they just niggas. They not men. You right. feel me? Like, I'm not trying to be just, I'm not just trying to be a real nigga. I'm trying to be a fucking grown ass man at this point in my life. Like I already did that trying to be a real nigga shit. Like I'm trying to be a man at the, not trying to, I am going to continue to be a man. You feel me? Yeah. So I don't expect a woman to come in here and be like, I'll be patient with you. This and that. We passed that stage. We're a little older now. Like mm -hmm. that, that's that little, like, you know, like I feel like that shit stops at about 23. We're a little older, man. If you're not established at this point, like, when the fuck do you plan to be established? But Name your top porn search or tell a quick embarrassing sex story you've encountered. All right. I am all ears. Let me pull this hair back. <laughs> My top uh, porn search, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. I used to be like seriously fucking with porn heavy in my younger days. I think because of the fact that I was so heavily on porn when I was younger, I got into this thing where I was just like, porn is bad. Now, I haven't done porn in a while, but I will hit you with the embarrassing sex story. A long time ago, I was a freshman in high school, so that make me about 14 years old, I believe. Put the condom on, not even kidding, like within the first two or one little things, 
Bow. Oh. That boy started volcano erupting in that month. Like the craziest, mind you, this shit don't ever happen. Like, I'm not even like I'm a virgin. I've done had sex before too. Like, I'm like, Sis bruh. had that walk. Bro, I don't, how how is it WAP? I'm wearing a rappy on it. Like how? It must have been so WAP that it was whopping. It must have been, man. I gotta run it back a little bit. So like the whole time I'm trying to do what I'm trying to do, it. she keep she keep pushing me back. She keep playing them games. She's like, no, no, no. So she it's her fault, low key. She was getting me amped. She was building that meter. You know we got a meter as men. We y'all know how that go. So like she was building that meter. I was like, damn, what am I gonna do? This is so embarrassing. I told her. You know what I did? I said, I said, nah. I told her, I was like, nah, you ain't going, you was trying to play with me, right? I was like, yeah, you ain't going to get this. And mind you, I'm bugging. I'm like, I hope she didn't feel the boom, 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 boom. I was a kid. I was a kid. Hey, that don't happen no more. And she was telling me, she's like, what the fuck? Come back inside. You feel me? She's trying to get me back in there. And I'm like, nah, you was playing with me, right? Yeah, you're going to have to wait for it. Yeah, yeah, you're going to have to wait for that. And on dead dogs, I played it off just like that. And guess what? Yo, this is so crazy. She, she thought I was him. She thought I was him. She's was like, him, wow. You was Himothy? I was Himothim. Himatron. Himothy Turner, all that. Everything on top of it. How about you? I'm curious. I would love to know. I've been friends with a friend for a long time. Okay. And, you know, they told me that they were attracted to me sexually. For sure. And, you know, too many drinks start drinking. Type and of too shit. much smoke starts smoking. Type of vibe. <laughs> and he pulls out. A baby pacifier. Put this in your mouth. <laughs> no way. Oh, no way. It was a minion. But when I seen what I seen, I left. No, for real though, he told you put it in my mouth. It was a baby pacifier. You know what he told me? He told me to stroke it. <laughs> it resembled a pacifier, you guys. No, that's actually why he had that shit on go though. I don't know. And he was hard. He was like, yeah, put this pacifier on me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was the socks with the butterball naked. I, I said, you gotta it. come better than that, Papa. He was Himothy. Oh, you, he guys, you guys gotta understand that he, he was Himothy. He did all the right things. And then... He did all the right things. And then when he walked out that room with the socks on and the butterball naked, I said, He might have just put the what? pacifier in his mouth at that point. What is that? The shit was this big. Would you rather be the cheater or the one cheated on? What great question. I would rather be the cheater and because I'm gonna get my lick back times 10. But how are you getting your lick back if you are the cheater? Then he has to get his lick back, don't you think? Well, if I feel like, you know, like when you're a cheater, there's a reason why you're cheating. Oh, for sure. You know? As a female, your lick back is 10 times worse than what the nigga could ever do. Like you, I promise you. You would rather be the cheater, the one cheating? Yeah. So if I'm cheating on him, I'm gonna get my lick back on that cheater mm. times 10. Like when you realize that you're really her, that lick back is gonna be crazy. I, I completely agree. Just from a pride perspective, I know pride is the devil and unfortunately I've been trying to, I've been trying to kill my ego. It's really a very hard thing to do. Um, my ego is still very much existent. Um, I would definitely, much rather be the cheater. There is people in this world that'll be like, no, with, without a doubt, I'd rather be the person that know that I was good in my heart. And salute to those people. You are much better than I am. <laughs> you, when you are the cheater, as much as you feel like you did something wrong, you're still kind of like, yeah, I, I'm the one who did something wrong. Nobody did nothing wrong to me. It hurts so much more when someone does you dirty, when right. someone hurts you, and when someone betrays you. When you're betraying someone, even if you feel very guilty, it's easier to feel guilty than to feel like someone betrayed you. It's just sad because us humans, we have an ego and like, as much as it hurts to hurt another person, it hurts less to hurt another person. Call your ex right now. Yeah, I don't even got my phone on me. And ask if you were a good partner. Realistically, I don't even got an ex. So it's like, I would love to. This, this sounds fun, it sounds exciting, but I don't even got an ex. The people that I was with in the past, they don't even count as exes realistically. So, so Omar, you say you don't have an ex. You're lying. Type shit. Them bitches don't mean nothing. <laughs> Alright, let's just give us some shots. Fuck all this shit. Give me some shots. Where the shots at? What the fuck hey, is this? So Omar said he doesn't have any exes. Do you believe that? No. Does that question come back to me? Yeah, of course it does. What the yeah. fuck? Can I have my TT, can I have my phone, please? Oh, that was not right. I'm calling. He hung up on your ass. Oh, I'm on a podcast. He got me on a podcast. Oh, he's calling back. He's calling back. He's calling back. Oh,
Hello? Yes. Hey, quick question. Was I a good partner? Why you say this? I'm just asking a question. As far as what goes, like... Um, just generally speaking, like, was I a good partner? Yes. Okay, I'll call you back. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. I'm a bomb girlfriend. I'm bomb. Would you rather be a Twinkie or a toaster strudel? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I'm going to say Cayman. Oh, come on, me. I'd rather be a Twinkie than a toaster strudel. I have noticed uh, uh, women, women do like, like no, no. Because I'm on birth control, so like, it ain't going to go nowhere. <laughs> it ain't going to go nowhere. <laughs> She dangerous. I snap a trick or split. Let's really get it. Hey. I don't mind how you feeling. I feel good, man. I feel great. Yeah. I'm good. I'm feeling good. What'd you think about the fit? She was cool. Like we got along. We definitely connected on the things we said mentally. His vibe was good. His vibe was good. She was, she was a pretty woman. He's very much light skinned. I don't feel like we were each other's type. It was smooth for the most part. Cool. Yeah, when I asked you to rate his voice, you gave it a three out of ten. When you asked you to rate her voice, you rated it a 10. Now that you spoke to them and everything, what do you think now? Like, I might bump it up to a 4. A solid, like, it was like a solid 7. Solid seven. Like a solid uh, 7, maybe cool. like a 6. If you was down to going on another date, would you be willing to? Or? I probably would as a friend. If she was willing to go out on some fr uh, some friendly type of vibes, nothing too crazy, like no no attachment of vibe, like uh, okay. no attachment involved, um, maybe maybe out with some more friends, like a group. Even if it was just me and her, just cool. Yeah, that would be nice. He's good vibes, but you don't. He's good anything. vibes, but I do not. Do the light skin. And I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time is money, and I just don't see the investment worth yeah. in that. And okay. not for nothing, she's beautiful, she's cool, she's smart, she's intelligent, and I'm nothing against her whatsoever. I don't care how good and nice you are. Yeah. I don't do the light skins at all. We, we could be cool. Me and her could definitely be cool. I see us talking up a storm for days. I guess you're not, I guess you're not tricking it. All right. You're obviously not tricking it. No, I'm not tricking on that for nothing, man. Me and her could be cool, and it seems like we could be cool, but that's, that's it for me, man.